What I'm about to show you, I've never seen anybody else do before. I'm going to show you how to create a video just like the sales video at the top of this page using Cloud Movie Machine. So how did I begin putting together that sales video? Well, firstly, I began with a script. Now I decided with this script that it would also form the basis of some of the actual video because you might have a script but completely different visuals. Here I wanted some of the words to be visual so people would remember them and stock footage either side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click new and you could upload an image from your computer or something like that if you want something really sophisticated looking. I've gone for a sort of default widescreen format. You can see we've got the color set as black here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some text and my favorite font I decided for this was Source Sans Pro. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to add text. Then we can get onto the really exciting stuff. And uh, all we have to do is type in our first slide. So that is we all know the power and then another line of entertaining people. What I can do is I can just increase the font size here. Now, in actual fact, that's that's pretty good, uh, a good sort of size here. And you want to remember this font size, by the way, so you can keep everything nice and consistent. So this gives me something to read out and then record. And I'm gonna show you first how we add this to our timeline. And, you know, this isn't gonna, I typically recommend if you're reading out just like a short sentence, four to five seconds is fine and save the slide. Okay, so here we are, we have our first slide on screen. So if we just go back now to the uh, create section. Okay, so here we are back in the clip designer and you can see we've got our second slide up. It's the secret behind Vegas' success. And we can also do a lot of other very, very cool things. And then whenever we create something cool, we can add it to our timeline. So I'm gonna create a rectangle here. You can see that's just very quickly added. I mean, this is just so easy to do, guys. Now, I didn't actually use any rectangles or anything like that in this sales video, but if you look at my past ones, such as Member Deliver, I have done for highlighting. So you can see we do all sorts of very, very cool stuff. We can uh, alter light. I mean, it's amazing that you can now do this in uh, web software. Now, what I would do is if I was doing it over an image, I would increase the transparency. You can even do things like adding gradients. I mean, how cool is this, guys? But we can just put all this together, you know, piece of text. So if we just go here and we drag that there, we just order the slides and you can see instantly how you can put together really, really cool stuff. It's like, say, to me, it's just unbelievable. We've got this uh, sort of power now. And here's where it gets really cool, guys. Okay, there's no need for you to be going and finding graphics. We've got all of these actually built in for you. In Vegas, they do have things like this. We'll just change the uh, change the color here, you know. And, you know, next we could perhaps add a uh, Statue of Liberty, nice little stylized Statue of Liberty there. Let's have a look at what we can do. So I'm just gonna save this to the timeline, guys. And then we're going to look at the power of creating images with the clip editor. Just going to create a new slide, but this time we're going to upload an image from the computer. You can also use a web address as well. And there we have it, a cool image of Vegas. You guys are probably getting the idea why I didn't use the clip part now. Now Cloud Movie Machine includes loads of stock footage. You can also add your own here as I did with this clip. What's some of the stuff that we can do? Well, we can actually go and add circles. We can add text. So why don't we put some of us, our Source Sans Pro text up there and we'll just say, Welcome to Vegas. Scale that up. So we've been using that 62 um, point font size. We've got that sorted. And you know what would be really cool there? I think a little bit of ghosting just to make that pop out. So we're just gonna go to the shapes section. We're just going to get a rectangle. I and mean, we could use an image here. We're not going to. And just gonna put that behind there. So it's just gonna darken the background. Now we've got our layers here, okay? So what we want to do is we want to move the rectangle just behind the text, just to make it pop out. What else can we do? Well, here's what's really cool, guys. We can apply filters. So I'll just remove those filters, but um, you know, let's say we wanted to do something that looked a little mysterious. We could pixelate, pixelate everything. This is great, by the way, if you're doing some sort of top secret video. It looks really, really cool. So we'll just save this to the timeline. Okay, and so there we have yet another uh, slide here. What I'm about to tell you is going back to the sales video. Remember I talked about how I built up this script of slides. Well, what I did was I took that 
and then I actually recorded my narration. And then I added stock movie clips over the top and finally blended in the music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch projects so you can see what it was like when I was recording the narration. Here we are in the actual raw slide presentation. Now this forms the basis, the background, the backdrop of the sales video and I always recommend doing this. Create any slides first, read them out and then you can come back, you've got your narration which makes sense and then you can just get rid of various slides and put in video clips, okay? How do we actually put together a narration? Well, we can do this all in browser. That's what's so, so cool about this whole system. So here we are on the audio page. And you can see we can upload uh, audio tracks here. We can also uh, select music tracks that are already included, which is seriously, seriously cool. You can add your own, as I said. You can even narrate using... Um, all we have to do is just click allow here and remember just to give flash permission to use our voice. And then what we want to do is we want to create a recording preview, okay? So what this means is we can actually create the preview of the slides which we can record our narration to and then we can start altering the visuals and that's how we create the magic. Okay, so our preview is now ready to play and we can record our audio. So all we have to do is click the microphone to start recording and then click it again to stop. We all know the power of entertaining people. It's the secret behind Vegas' success. Fact, if you can engage and entertain, you can profit. Video is the easiest way for us to get traffic, opt-ins and sales. So there, you just had a, a quick sort of impromptu run through of me reading out the narration at least some of it, and recording it. So we've got our slides, we've got our script. I've shown you how to narrate your sales video, your opt-in video, or whatever it is. Of course, you don't need to use slides. You could just kind of uh, do whatever you think's best. What I really like to do at this stage is I like to add really impressive stock footage, and I use this as a pattern interrupt. Cloud Movie Machine in the Sources section includes loads of images that you can insert, motion backgrounds such as laser shows, uh, light patterns, all of this cool stuff, and also stock video clips. And so we've got loads of stuff for you to use in here. And let's say we find something we want to use, we can either click to add it, or we can bring it into the clip generator. Uh, we can either loop, crop, or even add text. Okay, so we can add a text box here. We can add something in, you can set that to transparent. But what happens if you want to include something else, a piece of stock footage or imagery from somewhere else? Well, with images, you can just simply upload them here. If you want to use something that perhaps isn't in all the included stuff with Cloud Movie Machine, you can simply add a video. So how cool is this? We have our Vegas footage here. I've just set the uh, the trim controls so we can just pull out the section of the Vegas video that we actually want. And all we need to do then is add it to our timeline. And there you have it now. We've got our Vegas clip right at the start. And this is what you do. You just keep bringing in clips. And the way I work is I use this slideshow as a basis and then put all the clips in. So let's get back to the audio. What I've done is I've just uploaded my audio and I'm going to save it to my template. And this is my music background. And so we've come to the audio section. What we can do is we can see our background track and our voice The power of entertaining people. It's the secret behind Vegas' success. So you can just, uh, just kind of see all that there. We can also, let's say, choose from all of the uh, audio tracks we've got down here that are included. You've got lots of great stuff there. So there you have it. Uh, a quick look at just some of the many features um, of Cloud Movie Machine. And hopefully you can understand why we don't call it just video making, we call it movie making.